Neighbors tell me that the father killed himself. Showing up, pointing a gun at her, beating her up. She's being accused of having sex with a 17-year-old boy. It all makes for some grim dinner conversation. He was booked on three counts of aggravated assault. Castro's birthday celebrations. This community is in shock. Faces a number of charges. Live in Fort Lauderdale. Live in Coral Springs. Live in North Miami Beach. Live in Davie. Live in Little Havana. On the scene with details, Carrie. Yeah, still getting some developing information on the scene here in Sunrise. We're along 73rd Avenue in Sunrise. Apparently, there was a shooting here a short time ago at uh, this house here along 73rd Avenue. There was uh, apparently a party going on here this evening when shots rang out. Police found a man in the backyard of the home suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. There you go, live pictures of a fire on Lakeshore Drive. We'll have an update coming up. You're looking at live pictures of a fire on Lakeshore Drive. We'll have an update coming up. In the burning up building here still behind us. Hours later, fire broke out around 2.30 this morning. You can see the smoke several feet in the air burning. This fire is still burning about close to four and a half hours here later. Again, this is an old school that was vacant. And we're standing here in the center of the Palm Beach Equine Clinic. What's left of it, I should say, this was once a courtyard, and you can see there was a barn that just completely destroyed. It's now in the middle of the court courtyard. There was an F-250 involved, a red pickup and a white pickup. We actually have the driver of the white pickup right here. It's 19-year-old Joshua Farnsworth. So this seemed like it was a case of road rage. He was upset about your loud music, and it proceeded into a chase. He actually chased you, so you say, right, down 95, came, yeah, and you came on, here. What happened when you got to this neighborhood? Um, we were going all through the neighborhood. He was chasing me all through the neighborhood. All of the horses that were surrounding this area, completely fine. They were in their stables. You can still see them. Maybe we can even show them in here. We are told there are 10 other communities just like this underwater in the Fort Pierce and Port St. Lucie area. Complicating matters even further, well, there's an eight-foot alligator roaming around somewhere in these waters. <laughs> What did the guy look like that took her? Take a look. I'm standing in the middle of the intersection of 25th Street and Bell Avenue. It is completely underwater, like so many areas in these Treasure Coast communities this morning. In fact, we're told upwards of 10 neighborhoods are completely underwater, which is why folks are bringing out these airboats to come rescue folks who are trapped in their homes. I'm going to ride with them. Go make sure they're okay. Tropical Storm Fay has drenched Fort Pierce, putting much of it underwater. The streets soaked. Homes flooded out and people trapped inside. The county needing help from others with airboats to get them out. We have residents that are uh, stranded in their homes. And just to further illustrate, here on Sweetwater Drive, check out those two cars that are sitting in a driveway, half submerged underwater. And they're not the only things feeling the effects of Fay. Check out this home, it too, underwater. And you are looking live here at Fort Pierce, again, the intersection of 25th Street and Bell Avenue. You can see one of the airboats there being used to get people out of their homes who are trapped and bring them to safety on land. And there isn't much area here that is land. Most of it is turned into water. The Greater Gator Food Market went from a convenience store to a drive through after this truck backed into the front doors. With the door smashed in, the would-be thieves had free reign of the store. They tried to steal the ATM but ended up leaving empty-handed. The suspects didn't get away with the ATM machine because it's bolted to the floor. And the owner here says he's pleased with his high-tech security cameras because they got great images of the men who did this. The owners say they haven't seen anything like this happen in the past 16 years and it won't shut them down for business. It's not just any day on the farm for these cowboys. Ready with the heifers. Dudley Curtin and the rest of these Okeechobee ranchers are getting the cattle ready for a trip off the farm. There's 10 on there and they're weighing uh, 523 pounds. You love it? Yeah, I guess you have to. <laughs> Wouldn't do anything else. It's a hard day's work. Yeah. yeah. But. We can go take it easy now and drink some sweet tea. It's kind of like a parade. Um, you get to see a lot of our local people come out, and a lot of people from over on the coast that don't get to see it day to day. And uh, you get to see you know, your friends and your neighbors and their kids, uh, our kids ride in it. Um, we try to pass this down generation to generation. As soon as, it was, as soon as it started, it was over, and I ran outside to see if I could find the horse that had been in the building that was leveled. And sure enough, she was standing amidst all the rubble so I managed to wrap an IV cord around her and drag her towards the only standing structure that's left here. Uh, it was 
unbelievable. The noise, everything they say about it sounding like a freight train, it, it, it's true. It was just amazing. Now, Lisi, once it was said and done, what was your first reaction? Was it fear? No. Wow, I say a star is born. They're all auditioning for the new ABC reality series, High School Musical, Get in the Picture. And like other talent shows, filming started with the tryouts. I want it so bad, it's incredible. <laughs> so that he almost broke his jaw. Celebrity host Nick Lachey says the competition is fierce. We heard a few of them singing in line, and just if that's any indication of what the uh, talent pool is like, we're going to be in good shape. Some of that talent is homegrown. Extensive flooding is damaging homes and leaving people stranded in them. Check this out. This is several feet of water. They've been having to pull people out of their homes on these airboats. Thanks to private citizens coming to help the sheriff's department. You can see this family coming in right now was stranded in their home prior to that. And if you pan off to the right here, Matt, you can see another home that is completely underwater. There are cars underwater. This flooding is way more extensive than many of the hurricanes. That's what people in this neighborhood have been telling me. And uh, for this moment, they are just trying to get themselves safe and get themselves out of the homes. As you can see them here pulling up to shore right now. This is the first time they have been on land. It's been an amazing like four or six hours, however long it's been. Um, it's just been great to see everybody coming out. We've had clients, friends, family, everybody just calling and saying, are you guys okay? 